Welcome to Scotland, the land of epic road trips, incredible scenery, wild weather and wildlife. If you're new around here, we're Jack and Joe, and this is our little hitchhiker Frank. We're travelling around Europe in this, our tiny adventure home on wheels. And for this trip, we're ferry hopping around some of Scotland's most beautiful islands, Mole, Iona and the Outer Hebrides. This is part one of our trip. Welcome to these wild journeys on the Isle of Mole. time we saw you was in Croatia in the nice warm mm. uh, Mediterranean climate. We switched things up. Yeah, a little bit. Um, <laughs> we're on the Isle of Mole. We've got two and a half weeks to three weeks exploring Scotland. In this video, we're just going to take it around Mole. We've had amazing things about this island. Yeah, amazing wildlife, scenery. Yeah. We're excited. Yeah, and we're liking what we're seeing. It's mm. typically Scottish. We've got wind, we've got rain, we've got sunshine, sometimes at the same time. Yeah. I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to have a great time. We're going to take you along with us as we explore the Isle of Mole. So yeah, let's get to it. Look at that view. So we're staying just by the beach. 10 quid in an honesty box, which is an Outer Hebrides classic. Super windy, and it's really, really light in the evenings. It's like nine o'clock right now. So I've got a dog trying to chase me. Yeah, look at that for a view. Feels like every time we've tried to leave the van today, the blue sky is turning to cloud and rain. But we're gonna try and get out and go for a walk from this car park. It'd be lovely, but yeah, it'd be nice to actually. We had one trip to the beach this morning and then it started raining again. But we're gonna brave the weather, aren't we, Joe? It looks like it's blueing up. <laughs> Look at her on her feet. Right, we've all got our coats on. Well, Joe hasn't yet. Put your coat on, mate. We're going to embrace, embrace the weather, aren't we, Frank? You've got your coat on. We're just going to go out there, you know, and brave the walk. The place where we're at is called Calgary Beach, and it's got a little sculpture walk nearby that Joe wants to go on. It sounds lovely. Why are you saying that in such an accused to each other? I don't know. Joe wants to go on this boring sculpture walk. Nah, it'll be good. <laughs> All set? So I've just told Joe that we're near a cafe that potentially has some vegan cake. <laughs> You need to calm down. It's just cake. <laughs> After a quick refill of coffee and cake in the farmhouse cafe, we were back on the road and we were on the hunt for some of Mole's most famous wildlife. After a traditional Scottish sheep jam, of course. Sheep jam, we've got sheep jam here. Look at the little fort. 
Now we'd heard from plenty of people that Mole is the best place to spot otters and that you can often catch glimpses of these creatures as you drive along its lush green lock filled landscape. So we were keeping our eyes peeled. Joe's chief otter spotter now, even though she doesn't believe in them. It's not a mythical creature. It's a real thing. Anyway. Zero op spot. No op spot? No op spot. Okay, next spot for the op. Mental views though. Found our spot for the night. Apparently a farmer will come round and collect 10 quid off us. But it's a pretty sweet spot. It's got amazing views of like a lock and some mountains. Pretty mental actually. Uh, and I think it's the perfect place to spot otters, we reckon. So we're gonna be looking out this window all evening because the sun doesn't set until what time does the sun set joe 5 6 a.m 5 6 a.m yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah we'll let you know if we see any otters we still didn't see any otters despite a late evening walk along the lock to territory we were sure that if we were otters we'd inhabit we did catch this rather incredible rainbow above the van though before we turned in for the night ahead of what turned out to be a very wild adventure the next day. Good morning. We're up early-ish um, as we've got a boat to catch. We're going on a wildlife trip. It's going to be a big day today, not just because it's my birthday today. Um, we're hopefully going to go see puffins and then maybe if we really get lucky eagles, dolphins, and basically killer whales. Killer, I don't think killer whales. <laughs> uh, but yeah, literally mole is rich in wildlife and we're gonna go see it. The weather is actually not too windy and not too rainy, which I think is good peak puffin yeah. uh, conditions. But we go to like an island called Staffa and we have like a whole day to go on a boat and then go to an island to have a mooch around. And dogs are allowed. Woo. And we've got to free Staffa tours. But yeah, let's head to Tobermory and we'll go hopefully see some puffins. On that rather cheerful, happy note, we made our way to Tobermory, the main town on Mole. We arrived to an overcast sky and a briefing with our tour captain for the day. We basically said we were in for a morning of rough conditions. The sea was choppy as hell and there was no chance that we were going to come across a sighting of dolphins or anything else until we got to our des destination of the Treshness Islands. On the way to the Treshness Islands, the boat does usually give us a chance to explore Staffer Island. It's here where you can see Fingal's Cave, and apparently it's famed for inspiring a famous Gaelic poem. But the sea was far too choppy, and it meant we had to admire it from afar. Thankfully, once we got closer to the Treshness Islands, the sky and sea started to calm, and we were set to find some cute, feathery friends. Puffins. Arriving at the Treasures Islands, you're greeted by a cacophony of noise of seabirds flying in from the sea to the cliffs and their nesting points up above. The puffins here nest in burrows by the side of the cliffs and really don't mind you getting close. In fact, they're big fans of us humans taking photos as it means we ward off any would-be predators. It was incredible to get so close to these beautiful birds. We spent an hour or so taking far too many photos watching these birds hover and arrive from their fishing trips and back to their burrows down below. As you can see from the glee on my face, it was the best birthday ever. Thankfully, the sea was a lot calmer on the way back to Tobermory. Once we docked, we grabbed a bite to eat at the nearby pub before we set off to find our camp spot for the night. What a birthday. Nearly died at sea. We didn't nearly die at sea. Had a bit of a rush though. Uh, choppy sea, saw some puffins. Now parked up in a beautiful little spot. 
with an annoying little dog. Okay, not annoying. Beautiful little spot by the beach. 20 quid for the night. And we are knackered. I think it's because we were out in the cold for so long. So we're not even going to drink on my birthday. You can if you want. No, I think I just want a tea. Would you like a drink or have a tea? I'll just have a tea, please. Thank That's you. That's going to be so hot in your hand. That is so hot in my hand. Take that side. Have a Thank care. you. <laughs> we're just going to have a brew of a view as I've trademarked. Um, so see you tomorrow. <laughs> Sun's come out, the wind's died down. Beautiful day. See, the home's just there. Loads of other vans there. Hit the plan today is to head to Iona, which is uh, like a sacred Scottish island where all the Scottish kings are buried and there's like a monastery and stuff. But it's also got some really spectacular beaches. That's not to say that this beach isn't spectacular. Look at that. Frank's having a poo of a view. Nice one, Frank. To get to Iona from the mainland of Mole, you take a short 20 minute ferry ride across the channel on a pretty antique looking Kalman ferry. Iona has a rich history as a place of pilgrimage and is regarded as the birthplace of Christianity in Scotland when a missionary monk from Ireland, St. Columba, set up the first monastery on the island in 563 AD. Aside from the rich religious history, the island on a day like today is bloody spectacular. So, after grabbing a vegan pasty for the road, we set off exploring this tiny six kilometre long island, its sand dunes and its spectacular beaches by foot. I forgot how beautiful Scottish beaches were. I think they're the most beautiful beaches in the world, Joe. It's just sometimes you don't get weather like this. But when you do, it does. It makes it so special. Sweat. Well, you've had a good day though with the windswept. That's very true. Put the light on. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> pretty better. That was an awesome four days on Mole. Yeah, that was it. Um, we leave as usual from every destination that we visit with unfinished business. We would recommend that you'd stay longer than a week. About a week maybe for all of them. Yeah, all. I think so. Um, so yeah, we wish we stayed longer, especially with the weather that we had today. Tomorrow we head off to our next destination, which we'll cover in our next video. Um, we're going to head over to Barra. And hopefully we'll actually see some otters. They don't exist and we probably will never see them. They do exist and I've got a real, you know, real good feeling about the... Uh, you said that about Isle of Mole, which is actually known for otters. I know, but the Outer Hebrides, more like the Otter Hebrides. Right, I'm off. <laughs> see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching everyone. Part two of our Hebridean ferry hopping adventure will be out shortly as we head to maybe one of our most favorite places in the world and we're treated to some incredible weather and we're able to visit some of the most beautiful beaches in the whole entire world. To make sure you don't miss out on that, click subscribe, click that reminder button and if you've liked this video, hit that thumbs up. And as always, if you've got any questions about this trip or any previous trips, chuck them in the comment box below. We will see you on the next adventure. Bye.